Yo, 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 what's going on, people? It's your boy, Double R, man, the one and only. Shouts out to the real BRC, the real battle rap community. That's right, people. Salute to the GOAT on another amazing track. He's been on the road, man. Salute the GOAT gang. Salute to any and everybody that appreciate this real, man. You know, we working over here. Why they over there making excuses, man, and hating? So check, right? Um, I'm online, and I come across Battle Truth. It's getting old, man. It's really getting old. It's a lot of people that come on my channel and ask me why I don't talk about this old nigga, man. You know, because they know that's what I do. They know that I expose motherfuckers and call motherfuckers out, man. Pull motherfuckers' cars. You feel me? But it's a reason why me or the GOAT or nobody else is talking about this old nigga, man, because he ain't worth our time. At the end of the day, he should be out here teaching us the way. Instead, he out here trying to pull us down. Old nigga. You know, that's how it is, man. I ain't gonna say all the old brothers like that, but that's how it is, man. A lot where from where I come from. And a lot of you come from, man. You got old motherfuckers saying that they we could be whatever we wanna be, you know, they we could even be better than them, but in reality they don't want us to be better than them, man. They don't want us to outshine them and outdo them. You know, and a lot of them ain't do what the fuck they were supposed to do when they was younger. You know, so as they got older they they still playing catch up. You feel me? You got a lot of old motherfuckers now complaining about the youth ain't this and the youth ain't that. But if your old ass fucking retire, maybe a position can open up and a young nigga can, can shine. You feel me? It's sad, man. It's getting old, Battle Truth, and you getting old. He talking about Cassidy shit. It was like lunch on table. I'm going to tell you a story, though. I'm going to tell y'all a story. When I was in school... And the dudes was at my uh, high school, and they was banging on the tables and, and rapping in a circle and shit like that. Guess who raps they were saying? Cassidy. You can't deny it, baby. You know, ain't no way around it. He is the energy. He been the energy. He still is the energy. Who you should be addressing, like I said before, and I say it a million times if I have to, is those other battlers. It's a damn shame that Cassidy was gone for so long and he was that nigga back then and he's still that nigga now and these niggas haven't developed these niggas haven't got better they still the same that's what we should be talking about but instead we're talking about a man who's done nothing but help the culture why are we talking about him? I tell you why they're talking about him because like I told you he's a direct reflection and a reminder an everyday reminder of what they couldn't accomplish and had every chance, every opportunity all the time in the world all the opportunities in the world to do so that's what Battle Truth should be talking about that's what Three Letter Men should be talking about that's what Angry Fans should be talking about but what are them old niggas doing people they hating they say the young motherfuckers out here man you know, out here lost, but who led them there? You know, you gotta have somebody to give you some type of direction before you know where the fuck you're going. And how the fuck we expect them to give us direction when they can't even direct themselves to do nothing right? Real talk, people. Y'all know what my man Daria say? Straight from the fax machine. Straight from the fax machine, baby. That's all I know how to do. That's all the GOAT know how to do. That's all the real BRC, the GOAT gang, anybody that's real know how to do. And speak the real, speak nothing but facts. Y'all asking me why I ain't going at this old nigga, man. I done went at him so many times. Exposed him so many times. Why go at a nigga that don't want to listen, that don't take heed to what you saying? That's a damn shame. Like I said, they should be teaching us. But instead, we out here teaching them. And they still don't fucking get it. Fucking, man, I ain't gonna even say it, man. I ain't gonna even say it. I ain't gonna even say the C word, people. Dude, I was about to call him my uncle, you know what? It's a mo. Clown, man. He won't even talk about, oh, Cassidy, you know, I feel like I'm in school. That's good. What you talking about? That's a good thing. You need to be taught. 
You need to be taught how to be something that you never was. And that's a fucking stand-up guy. And that's a real man. So you could teach other motherfuckers how to be real men. But right now, you not. That's why you got a bunch of young motherfuckers that's out here clowning just like you. You got a bunch of Piper Boys and Jay Blacks and all that shit following behind you, Three Letterman, and motherfucking Angry Fan. My grandmother used to say, young fools was once old fools. You feel me? It's sad, man. It's sad. It's so sad, man. Here you have the man in Cassidy. Here you have the real BRC trying to show people the way. I already know it was going to be a grind. I already know it was going to be a grind, man. Because people have been used to being taught and brought up on this bullshit, on this fuckery, on this garbage. So I know it's going to take time, but slowly but surely, man, it's going to happen. Like I told y'all, that fast shit always go just as fast as it come. That real shit, that trill shit, that shit lasts a lifetime. Lasts a lifetime, man. But that's why we're not talking about this old nigga giving him no energy, man, because he should know better than that. You know, giving him energy is only going to hype him up, to, you know, to destroy our people more. To push the negative propaganda even more. Push the negative narrative even more. So we ain't going to direct our energy into that because he's too old for that shit. You know, and I know a lot of people going to be like, well, why do Cassidy interview Three Letterman and he be hating? One thing about Three Letterman, yeah, he's a hater. Yeah, he's a clown. He's doing the same thing Battle Truth is doing. But the one thing that he's not doing that Battle Truth is doing is anything that Three Letterman, however he feel about you, he'll be, he, he's, he will tell you. He will tell you. That's what I do respect about Three Letterman. He don't bite his tongue. You know, he don't pull his punches. He's still a hater. He's still a clown. You know, that's what I respect about him, and I do believe the GOAT respect that as well. You know, regardless of whether or not he's right or whether he's wrong, he don't he don't pull his punches. He tell you exactly how he feel. A lot of these dudes, man, be, you know, act like yes men to the GOAT, act like yes men, you know, just so they can get their numbers up and get the support. You know, and then when the GOAT leave, they got so much shit to say. Why you ain't say it when he was there? It's your boy Double R, man. Salute, man.